Good morning. Let me start by thanking His Royal Highness King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud for being the patron of the award ceremony, as well as his representative for attending this event. I extend appreciation to His Royal Highness Prince Khaled bin Sultan for his continued support for the prize. Finally, I want to extend thanks to the Prize Council and the General Secretary. I want to acknowledge the truly far-sighted vision and generous initiative of His Royal Highness, the late Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz in establishing the International Prize for Water. I am extremely pleased, honored and humbled to have been selected to receive the prestigious Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz International Prize for Water, the Surface Water Prize, recognizing my contribution to flood science. This is indeed an extraordinary privilege. Looking at the list of recipients since the prize was established, I see giants who have made major contributions to water science. I am very proud to be included with them today. I'm glad that this ceremony takes place on the 22nd of March, which is World Water Day. The theme for World Water Day this year is water and climate change, which is particularly close to my heart. In my opinion, the climate change impacts on water resources described colloquially as present extremes are likely to be future norms are among the most important consequences of climate change. I am especially proud of having co-edited a technical paper on climate change and water for the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change that has received nearly 5,000 citations to date. During my 46 year career in water science and engineering, I have dealt with many issues and problems related to destructive abundance of water and the many dimensions of flooding and flood science. I have developed a special interest in the links between floods and climate change and variability. Floods continue to play havoc all over the world. They kill thousands of people annually and cause financial and economic losses of the order of tens of billions of US dollars. The arid and semi-arid lands in the Middle East, including Saudi Arabia, are not immune to floods. Even if there are no permanent rivers, the ephemeral wadis are numerous and the occurrence of high precipitation of short duration leads to flash flooding that devastates your lands. On this occasion, as I received the Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz International Prize for Water, I think about my long and fascinating scientific journey and of the people and the institutions that have influenced me on my way. I have worked for most of the time in two institutes of the Polish Academy of Sciences, namely the Institute of Geophysics in Warsaw and the Institute of Agriculture and Forest Environment in Poznań. I have enjoyed generous support of many research funding agencies, such as in the last decade, the National Science Center of Poland, the European Commission, the Swiss contribution to the enlarged European Union and the Norway grants. I have actively collaborated with foreign scientists and research institutions on scientific work, including spending over 15 years abroad. I enriched my understanding of various aspects of water and climate science and its applicability during my extended visits to the University of Karlsruhe in Germany, at the World Meteorological Organization, at the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research, Germany again, and most recently at the Nanjing University of Information Science and Technology in China. I am indebted to my beloved family, my wife, Lucina, our two children with spouses and four grandchildren for their love, support and encouragement. My wife has been a role model, excellently managing our family affairs and enabling me to pursue my scientific interests 
and to achieve professional success. It is a great honor to have my 46 years of scientific work recognized through, his, through this highly respected and prestigious Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz International Prize for Water, the Surface Water Prize International Prize. It is with great pleasure and gratitude that I accept the prize. I hope that this prize will continue to inspire younger scientists and researchers to work hard and to try to obtain relevant practice-oriented results. This 2020 prize in the category of surface water will enhance recognition of the important problems associated with floods. Thank you.